Today we're going to be talking about the John Deere 10P cart. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to my green lawn. Today we're going to be talking about this John Deere 10P utility cart for our, our lawn tractor. So I just opened up the box. There was a piece of cardboard over this. I just cut everything off. And I took a peek inside and I thought I'd, I should probably do a video on this cart. It looks like a pretty easy assembly. We got some 15 by six uh, tires, uh, pneumatic tires, with some uh, um, grease, grease fittings here. They're turf care tires. They look pretty nice. They say premium on them. Of course, there isn't anything that's John Deere premium. Uh, so two ply rating tubeless inflated to uh, 14 pounds per square inch. Obviously we got two of those. Uh, some destructions and a uh, bunch of washers here. This is uh, going to be for the axle to go through. So much at the bottom of the cart. And then oh, the axle. I said axle. Okay, so that's all we have in there. It's a pretty large cart. Um, don't know the actual size, and maybe it does say inside the packaging here. Um, the 10P. Tell you the truth, I. Uh, I got this particular unit free when I purchased my uh, John Deere X354. So that was an added bonus, obviously, it was getting this cart. Um, it's been sitting in here, I haven't put it together yet, and uh, we're wanting to give it, we're wanting to use it. So um, I'm gonna throw it together today for us here. So let's get this project, let's get this project going. I'm going to have to flip it over first. They have it sideways. So I can get this. Uh, and everything's labeled on what it is. I kind of got this up at an angle. And I just stuck one. They said to stick all the screws in. But um, it looks like it's easier for me just to put the screws. Got the screws started in there. Put a washer on there and a slotted screw, and I just stick it through the hole, and then I get the and I can get the nuts in the bottom started. So it's working out a little bit better that way for me. I believe it has the dump capability, and I'll do this so that you can more easily see. But I'm basically just taking a screw, putting a washer on it like that. Putting it through the hole. I just want to make sure it's going to go through the. There we go. Make sure it goes through the uh, axle support bracket. Battery's a little more charged now, and uh, kind of waited to put this together the rest of the way. I popped this bracket, I popped this bracket on here, and I put my release on here. It's a little difficult. They give you us if you don't read through the instructions real quick, you will miss the uh, little special spring setup. So I suggest you just glance over the uh, instructions real quick, save yourself some. 
misery. So at this point, we're just going to stick on the axle. Uh, again, I did say axle. Remove this plastic caps they got on there. Kind of cool. Side dies in there. And it looks like we get a a washer on both sides. <clears throat> so put a washer on here. Washer on there. Ooh. Okay. Let me get the these little C clips, these white lock washers thing here. I'm gonna stick that on there. And okay, so we got this C lock, this clamp here, and there's a little groove in here. I don't know if you can see that. Washer's already on here. So I'm just gonna might need to get a pliers. Ouch, push that down. <coughs> Normally I would hold it with my finger, but <sighs> okay, I was able to do it holding the camera. Okay, so I got that in there, and now I just push that in uh, all the way, and we'll do the other side. Same thing on this side. Put a washer on here. The other wheel, tire. There you go. Those are some pretty big wheels. And we'll go ahead and stick the axle on here, or the uh, tongue. <laughs> okay. Okay, one of the <laughs> the reason why I smart a little bit right before I shut the camera off is to take that tire off. We have to put the tongue through. The axle's got to go through the tongue. So get that lined up. That makes a lot more sense now. And it locked into this bracket right here in front. You can't see it, this bracket right here. Now I can go ahead and slip this tire back on. Now we got that on there. Push this back on. A little washer first. Then the C clamp, C clip. Okay. Got that back on there again. Tongue goes through there. That's it, I believe. So, I don't know how much this thing weighs, but it's a little awkward. There you go. There's John Deere 10P. Okay, something I wanted to point out here on this particular trailer is that he's got these slots here. And I'm going to make an assumption without looking at the manual that you can put wood in there to extend your sides. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do like that. Probably will make use of that. Looks like there's some additional holes in the side here. Uh, I don't, for some screws, I don't know what goes on there. Maybe some kind of top. At the bottom of these holes, I do see a, um, on these slots, on the bottom there, there's a screw hole. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, uh, so you can stick a screw up in there to hold that in place. It looks like there might be a lot of versatility in this trailer. And uh, I'm excited to give it a shot today. In fact, I'm going to put it to use today with the John Deere hauling some dirt around. It's one of the reasons why I got this thing finally put together. It's a huge huge trailer it really is a huge trailer um, I'm sure the 10 signifies something I'll look that up later but and then there's a uh, 
Here's the foot pedal right here. So you press that and release the trailer to dump. And uh, I can press that. And voila. So there you have it. Okay, get ready to put this thing to work. So with that in mind, uh, if you enjoy the video content that we provide you, go ahead and please give us a like. If you really like the content and want to see more, go ahead and give us a subscribe on there. Hit the subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell to go ahead and get notified every time we come up with some new videos. And with that, I see you on the green. You have a great night.